Hi everyone, it's Rachel at Queen Vacuum in Shrewsbury and it is a beautiful spring day out there so I thought it was a good time to bring you all a little bit of spring cleaning inspiration. So there's three things primarily that I look for in making my cleaning experience um, more effective, less miserable, and a little bit more enjoyable. And so that's what I want to talk to you about today. Okay, so spring cleaning. Why is it so important? Well, let's discuss first what exactly we're up against. So the first thing we have to deal with is what I would call winter leftovers. Uh, think about just spending a lot of time, a lot of time in the house, on the couch, lots of Netflix and crumbs and sloughing off and just normal life happening inside and concentrating inside the house. So we've got to get rid of all that old stuff. Number two, if you have pets, they're probably getting rid of all of their winter fluff. And so there's a lot of shedding and a lot of what I would call fiber letting loose inside the house. So that's two. Three, we have some more what I would call outside invaders, pollen. <laughs> We're starting to get some bugs and stuff like that. But yeah, pollen and all that uh, vegetable matter that's coming in from outside and coming into the house. And for those who suffer with allergies, you know, uh, it's a problem. Uh, so that is why we're going to start talking about how to get rid of that the most effective way. So as I'm sure you could probably guess, my number one tip for spring cleaning is to utilize your vacuum cleaner to its fullest potential. We're dealing with not only lots and lots of fiber, like again, the pet hair and stuff like that, dirt that you're tracking in from the garden and outdoor activities, but we have lots and lots and lots of very fine dust. So dusting is effective, you know, with the rag and whatever. That's effective to a certain degree, but the vacuum cleaner is going to be able to reach a lot more places by utilizing its nice long hose and wand, or some of your uprights might have extension attachments. But those tools are going to be able to reach things like your ceiling fans, bookshelves, vaulted ceilings, moldings, all that other stuff where dust is settling in crazy places, possibly blown around by your heat system, that are lingering <laughs> uh, where you might not be able to reach, but it's still there and can get disrupted and come back down into your breathing space. But you also have surfaces, especially your couches and mattresses and stuff where you spend a lot of time and your skin comes off and that feeds dust mites. It's gross, but it's the truth. Uh, so utilizing your vacuum cleaner is going to actually really help pull that material out. The dander from your pet, your own dander, all that stuff. So the vacuum can, um, can pull that up with the use of the tools that are on board. But on that note, it's very, very important to use a very high quality, high filtration vacuum cleaner. A lot of folks are using bagless vacuums. They have a lot of suction, not a lot of control over that. Um, but all of that uh, finite material, very highly allergenic material, it's concentrating inside that bin. You're exposed to it when you have to empty it out and all that kind of stuff. Um, they also don't tend to have as high of dust capture. We're talking microscopic stuff, but there's a lot of microscopic particles that are very irritating to people with allergies and are just gross and you don't want it in the house. So utilizing a high filtration vacuum cleaner that has a HEPA filter and itself is true sealed, meaning the body doesn't leak. And that's using a HEPA filter as an exhaust filter will capture that stuff most effectively. Miela is really, really, really well known for that. And the majority of their models are like medical grade quality so they can trap those fine particulates so as you suck them out of the surfaces on your house the vacuum is trapping it and not spraying it back out uh because we're trying to eliminate the dust right so that's really really important you want to use your vacuum to its fullest potential make sure you have a good one and so that's tip number one Tip two, what really I would say 1A, would be to make sure that your vacuum is in good shape and maintained well before you start your spring cleaning. If um, you haven't done a service in a long time, it's usually done annually anyway, that's where you make sure that the vacuum is nice and clean, but that its filters are fresh, that they're clean or replaced if they need to be replaced. 
has a fresh bag so that you've got good strong suction and that it's not going to be redepositing anything out when you go to use it at this very critical time. So do make sure you do that at home. Make sure that it's up to snuff and nice and clean and fresh or drop it on off here so we can do that for you. So the second tip that I have to hopefully inspire you to get moving on your spring cleaning is to use natural surface cleaners to do the fine detailing. You're getting all the last little bit of grime that's all over the house from your tubs to your countertops to your floors and again everywhere in between. So you don't just want to cover up yucky things. You want to eliminate them. But if you can leave behind a pleasant fragrance on top of that now clean surface, it just makes your experience so much more pleasant uh, and enjoyable and kind of gratifying, right? So there's a few ways to do that. We carry a ton of natural cleaners that we love personally. And actually a lot of our cleaning service people use in other people's homes and their own brands like you might have heard of, like Mrs. Myers and Seventh Generation. Um, most of them are uh, using plant-based cleaners, you know, surfactants to break down the grime and spread out the water and help you remove the grime. But most of them leave behind that nice fragrance we talked about because they're scented with uh, botanicals and essential oils. So some of those things actually boost cleaning power and in some cases disinfecting, but the scent is just ugh, wonderful. They've got you know, countertop sprays, um, glass cleaners. Seventh Generation has a really good glass cleaner that happens to be free and clear if you don't like added scents, but very, very um, effective. Um, I really like the J.R. Watkins Tub and Tile Cleaner. I like the orange citrus scent, but it works really nice um, in the tub and in the bathroom. Um, and then there's other things we carry, things that are like all-purpose uh, cleaners that are concentrated so you can mix them up in your own bottles and stash them around the house however you like. Um, things like disinfecting wipes for something that's super yucky that you really just feel more comfortable disposing of. But, you know, using extracts from the thyme plant uh, as a natural way to kill germs. There's also chemicals on the other side that we carry that's more specifically for upholstery and carpets. BioClean is one of our uh, favorite brands for that. And they make a really nice rug and carpet shampoo that, again, is more plant-based with a very light orangey scent. So there's a ton of great products that kind of help, you know, round out that spring cleaning routine. And this guy was going to bring me to my third tip, which I'll get to in just a second. So tip three is talking about one other category of product that's really, really important to discuss for deep cleaning in the springtime, and that is what we call extractors. Extractors like this thistle here, the Thistle Revolution Pro Heat 2X. That is what we would call, um, these be called steam backs, something that washes your carpets. Carpets! Um, they are a blessing and a curse. They do make the house more comfortable and quiet. Um, they do hold on to a lot of material that would otherwise kind of blow around on the floor, but it also holds on to a lot of material. So the first step is always utilizing your regular vacuum cleaners to regularly deep clean that, agitate and suck up the loose debris and dust and dog hair. But periodically, just kind of like your clothes, you're going to need to wash those rugs um, as long as they're um, color fast and water safe. This is going to put out fresh water and um, a soapy solution, push it out onto the rug. The powerful brushes are going to thin and agitate the rug, while at the same time the suction um, is going to pull all the material out. It's a special system that is designed to suck up water safely, so don't confuse it with your regular vacuum. Um, but that is going to help physically wash those fibers, loosen the stuff that really only water and soap would get out, and then suck it all out. And then you can open the windows for a little while and let everything air out and dry quickly. But that's how you would wash your rugs, your expanses of carpet. Many of them do have accessory kits with a hose attachment so you can do some other spot cleaning or upholstery like maybe the couch or the dog bed or other things like that or like you see on top there there are compact extractors which are just 
little guys that will um, do the same thing but in a compact fashion, just portable, so you can um, just carry it around with you and just tackle spots and small stains, small areas, the back of the car, <laughs> again, the couch, going up the stairs, things that are a little awkward and smaller scale. So a very, very powerful category in your arsenal to utilize, especially this spring. Well, look at the time, it's dark. Time for me to close up and get home and do my own cleaning. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tips that I provided today for how to make your spring cleaning much more effective and enjoyable. Just as a review, the first tip is to utilize your vacuum cleaner. Make sure it's a really good high filtration vacuum cleaner that's in good shape uh, with good fresh filters and bags. Use that vacuum to its fullest potential. Number two is to utilize wonderful, powerful, yet aromatherapeutic cleaning products to do all the detailing of all the other surfaces um, and all the other rooms of your house. And three is to utilize an extractor, either compact or full size, to do the deep down cleaning in your textiles and upholstery, your carpets, your area rugs, uh, your stairs, your couches, and pull out the deep embedded stains that can only be um, withdrawn by water. So if you utilize these tools right, you will not knock yourself out. <laughs> it won't be as hard as you think, and it'll be much more gratifying. You and your whole family will literally breathe much easier when the contaminants are gone and only healthy, fresh air and natural scents are left behind. For any more information on these products or to pick up some for yourself, stop down to Queen Vacuum at your earliest convenience. We are so eager to see you and really happy to help. Happy spring!